two years ago, I was standing beside the 98-inch Samsung 8K QLED TV, and I was just laughing my head off because of the absurdity of the situation. I looked so small. That's the first time I didn't deny on the spot. But soon, hopefully, I'll be able to stand beside an OLED TV that is almost as large because LG Display has revealed that it is going to manufacture 97-inch OLED panels next year, that's 2022. I would like to thank French publication abcsa.com for bringing it to my attention. And after doing some digging from the news, I found out that LG Display actually made this revelation almost three weeks ago at a conference called the Blue Light Summit 2021, and that conference deals with eye safety and promoting eye comfort and the harmfulness of blue light from displays, especially large size displays. But in it, there is this segment where a senior LG display executive mentioned that they are planning to expand their OLED panel lineup. LG display will expand product lineup from super large 97 inch to compact size of 42 next year. Now, some of you may ask why not make it all the way to 100 inches, you know, make it a round number to compete with the likes of Sony's 100 inch X92J and LED LCD TV, or maybe some of the 98 inch QLED or even 99 inch micro LED from Samsung. And the reason is because of the size of the mother glass that LG Display has to use. So currently, LG Display only has the equipment and the capacity to use 8.5G mother glass and an 8.5G mother glass has a dimension of 2.5 meters times 2.2 meters. And if we go onto this very useful website that allows us to punch in the diagonal screen size into this calculator, it will spit out the other dimensions including the width and also the height in centimeters as well. And I found this very handy because I was never any good at extrapolating. As they say, there are two kinds of people in this world, those who are good at extrapolating. But once we punch in a number of 100 inch diagonal screen size into this calculator, then we can see that you can only cut a single 100 inch panel from an 8.5G mother glass, which is very inefficient. And experimenting with other screen sizes close to 100 inches, you can see that once we punch in a diagonal screen size of 98 inches, then you can cut to 98 inch panels from an 8.5G mother glass size of 2.5 meters times 2.2 meters, but it is probably cutting it too close. You don't really want too tight a fit, or else you won't have any room to maneuver. But that's probably the reason why LG Display decided to settle on a diagonal screen size of 97 inches for their upcoming super-sized OLED panel because you can cut two panels from the 8.5G mother glass size of 2.5 meters times 2.2 meters while still having some room for error. The next thing I want to address is whether this will have a 4K resolution or 8K resolution and in my opinion, it is very likely to have an 8K resolution rather than 4K resolution. The reason is because when you try to cut such a big screen size from a mother size glass, it leaves no room for MMG technology or multi-model glass technology. In case you're not aware, multi-model glass technology allows LG Display to cut different sized panels from one single sheet of mother glass. So for example, using MMG technology, they could cut two 77 inch panels together with two 48 inch panels and that will increase the utilization rate of one single mother glass and therefore increase the efficiency and lower the cost and that's the primary incentive of using MMG technology. But once you actually cut two 97 inch panels from an 8.5G mother glass, that leaves no room for other sizes, however small, and therefore the cost would just skyrocket. Basically, you know, you can't sell as many TVs, you know, you're basically trying to make it up by pricing this 97 inch OLED panel sky high. And if we look at the current trend, the 88 inch 8K Z1 OLED is already 30,000 pounds. And to justify the price increase over 30,000 pounds, the 97 inch OLED panel from LG Display will definitely need to be 8K to justify the increase in price premium compared to the rest of the lineup, albeit in a smaller screen size. And 
I think you know I've been talking in terms of pricing, you know, while referring to LG Display, but we need to understand that LG Display and LG Electronics are two different entities. LG Display is the company that is responsible for making the WRGB OLED panels found in LG OLEDs, found in Panasonic OLEDs, found in Sony OLEDs, Philips OLEDs that you can actually buy in stores, whereas LG Electronics is actually the company that makes the physical television sets that you can buy in shops. So those are the differences. But given that they are as close as two companies can be, usually LG Electronics will get first dips on any new panel technology from LG Display. And so I expect LG Electronics to be the first one to take up LG Display on this 97-inch OLED panel and probably showcase it at CES 2022 just like how I expect LG Electronics to be the first one to adopt the smaller 42-inch OLED panel from LG Display, and you can watch our video coverage here.